Now we're gonna do flat bench press, the granddaddy of all chest exercise, to increase size, sometimes strength, but here we here for size. The most important thing in the bench press exercise is hands placement. The way you wanna place your grip, your hands and your elbows and your shoulders should all be squared together. You shouldn't be too far out, you shouldn't be too far in. Because when you're too far in, you will stress your triceps a lot more. And when you're too far out, you put too much stress on your shoulders. So you wanna make sure your wrist angle, your shoulder angle, and your elbows angle are all squared together. There's a lot of common mistakes in this exercise. The one common mistake that I see is people bouncing the weight off their chest. This is really bad for the shoulders because when you drop your elbows way below your shoulder angle behind, it puts a lot of stress on the shoulders. And with this, over time, if you keep training this way, you're not only gonna end up injuring your shoulders, you're gonna end up also injuring your chest. So make sure you don't bounce the weight off your chest and one thing that I hear most guys always tell me that, oh, I wanna feel a stretch on my chest. You gotta remember, we're building muscle. We're not stretching muscle. So make sure you keep your wrist angle, your shoulder angle, and your elbows angles more square to your target line. And another one tip I wanna give you is tempo. The slower you go on the movement coming down, the more muscle you recruit. The faster you go, the less muscle you're good. And bodybuilding is more about recruiting muscle for size. So make sure you keep your mind on tempo. And this is where the mind and body connection comes in. Because when you're lowering the bar, you're slowing it down, you can really feel the muscle contracting on the way down. And when you're coming up, you also want to squeeze the chest muscles without locking out your elbows. Because when you lock your elbows out, you're only going to deload the weight. So make sure you don't deload and choose a reasonable amount of load. You know, the heavier you go, the more struggle you're gonna have controlling the tempo. So I'm gonna do a proper form and show you how this exercise is done properly. So the first thing is keeping your shoulders square, keeping your hips down on the bench. What I don't really wanna see is you pushing your hips off the, off the ground. When you push your hips off the ground, you're not only trying to help the weight with your legs, you're also going to put a lot of stress in your lower back. So the main point is keeping your hips down and having a slight arch in your back. So when you have your hands placement, make sure your grip is square. When you push it out, maintain that control as you're coming down, control the speed, square the elbows, right about there. That's how far you want to go. And then you press up without locking your elbows. Down really slow, keep controlling, chest high, and squeeze as you're going up. When I get to the top, you can hear a little vibration on the load. That means I'm extremely controlling, and my chest muscle is controlling all the load coming down. So make sure you remember this. Tempo, mind and muscle connection, and control all the way without locking your elbows. Breathe in, coming down, open up your rib cage, and exhale, coming up without locking your elbow. And that is the proper way to do a bench rest exercise. Make sure you, like I said earlier, keep your hips flat, a slight arch, and keep your shoulders, your elbows, and your wrists very controlled. You don't want to loosen your elbows or rotate your elbows back and forth. Once you find that angle, keep it there. It shouldn't come down too low, it shouldn't go up too high. It's all square, relative to the elbows, the shoulders, and the wrist. Control the tempo coming down, and exhale going up, control at the same time. And that's how you do a flat bench exercise. Mm -hmm.